Welcome to the flip lesson on flipped classrooms. Well, maybe I took that a little bit too literal. Let me straighten you out there. That's better. Welcome again to the lesson on flipped classrooms or flipped teaching or flipped lessons. There are multiple ways to call it. Uh, in short, what flipped teaching is, is putting lecture-based materials online through sources such as Blackboard, which of course we have, or YouTube, which is easy enough to access. The purpose of putting the lecture-based materials online for students to use and review is so that in the class, during our class time together, they can do higher order thinking and processing activities in class, and really we can check to see that they understood the material and that they're thriving in that environment. Honestly, this is the biggest change that I've thought about for my own classroom in the last 13 years. We've all kind of had that been there, done that moment with a lot of the things that have come down the way here in Fairfax. But this is the one for me that's made the biggest change for real in the last 13 years. So I'm glad to have the opportunity to share this with you. Um, as you can see, with the flip lesson, you can use a camera and tape yourself. If you're not really happy with that, you can certainly turn it off. So I'm going to get this out of the way. And you now have a lovely view of my kitchen table. What you need to know about the flip classroom and flip lessons is that they are not very difficult to do at all. I taught my mom how to do this in about 10 minutes. Um, my mom is not very technologically proficient but needed to use it for something in her life and uh, she was able to learn how to do it in about 10 minutes and I'll be doing the same with you in a couple of minutes. With some creative thought, flip teaching can be done in any subject area and really with any kind of topic. What's really nice about it is once you complete a lesson and post it anywhere you would like, you can use it year after year and you don't have to re-record. It's been proven research-based to be effective in multiple disciplines. Um, the most effective they're saying right now is that it's in math because uh, what's really nice about having your lesson online is that you can, students can watch it over and over again. They can pause, they can rewind, they can um, watch it right before a, a quiz or a test or the night before. So I want to share with you a couple of video clips that explain it better probably than I can. Uh, the first one is from the creator, the supposed creator of the flip lesson in the flip classroom, and he's going to be talking about how he was first using it. A little bit about really just how I got started. And uh, some, some of y'all might know about five years ago I was an analyst at a hedge fund. And I was in Boston and I was tutoring my cousins in New Orleans remotely. And I started putting the first YouTube videos up really just as kind of a nice to have, just kind of a supplement for my cousin, something that might, you know, give, give them a refresher or something. And as soon as I put those first YouTube videos up, something interesting happened. Uh, actually, a bunch of interesting things happened. The first was the feedback from my cousins. They told me that they preferred me on YouTube than in person. And, and, and once, once you get over the backhanded nature of that, I, there was actually something very profound there. They were saying that they preferred the automated version of their cousin to their cousin. At first, it's very unintuitive, but when you actually think about it from their point of view, it makes a ton of sense. You have this situation where now they can pause and repeat their cousin. Now they can, uh, without feeling like they're wasting my time, they could, if they have to uh, review something that they should have learned a couple of weeks ago or maybe a couple of years ago, uh, they, they don't have to be embarrassed and, and ask their cousin. They can just watch those videos. If they're bored, they can go ahead. They can watch it at their own time, at their own pace. And probably the, the, the least appreciated, uh, I guess, aspect of, of this is the notion that the very first time, the very first time that you're trying to get your brain around a new concept, the very last thing you need is another human being saying, do you understand this? And that's what was happening with the, the interaction with my cousins uh, before, and now they could just do it kind of in, 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 kind of a, in the intimacy of their, of their, of their own room. Uh, the other thing that happened is, you know, I put them on YouTube just, just you know, for, for the, you know, I, I, I saw no reason to make it private, so I, I let other people watch it, and, and then people started stumbling on it, and, and I started getting some comments and some letters and, and all sorts of kind of feedback from, from random people around the world. And, you know, these are just a few. This is actually from one of the original calculus videos. And someone wrote just on YouTube. It was a YouTube comment. First time I smiled doing a derivative. And let's, let's, let's pause here. This person did a derivative, and then they smiled. 
And then in response to that same comment, this is on the thread, you could go on YouTube and, and look at these comments, someone else wrote, same thing here, I actually got a natural high and a good mood for the entire day. Since I remember seeing all of this matrix text in class, and here I'm all like, I know Kung Fu. So now that you've got a sense of what the flipped classroom is, I want to give you a very quick tutorial um, from someone who's had more experience than I have with the flipped classroom to kind of explain it better. And then we're going to go ahead and make a flip lesson of our own. Welcome to an exploration of the flipped classroom. The flipped classroom is an exciting new instructional method, gaining notice and popularity in education. Before we explore this method, let's look at the traditional classroom. We all know it well. It really hasn't changed in a hundred years. In the traditional classroom, a large part of the class is spent with the teacher lecturing about material. The students passively listen, sometimes attentively, sometimes not, sometimes understanding, sometimes silently stirring in confusion. After a long day at school, students return home. At home, students are asked to practice what they learned in school. This is fine if they understood the material. However, if the student did not understand, homework becomes a painful process with no support from the teacher and often little support from busy parents. While not an ideal situation, this has been the educational paradigm for over a century. Is there really anything we can do about it? The flipped classroom offers a new way of teaching. The flipped classroom interverts traditional teaching methods delivering instruction online, outside of class, and moving homework into the classroom. The teacher changes from a sage on a stage to a guide on the side. With this method, instructional videos are watched at home. Students can watch the video more than once if they don't understand the first time. They then enter class with a basic understanding of the material. The more confident student returns to school. At school, students actively work with the teacher to practice, discuss, explore, and experiment with what they learned at home. The student's learning experience changes. In the traditional method, students passively learn at school, but actively learn at home where there is no teacher support. In the flipped classroom, students learn actively at school with teacher support. The passive learning is done at home where the teacher is less necessary. The difference between active and passive learning has been known for over 40 years, as can be seen in Edgar Dale's Cone of Learning. People retain 20% of what they hear, but over 90% of what they actively do. The question is, do we want our classrooms to be places of academic activity or perennial passivity? The flipped classroom could be a classroom for the future. So now you've gotten a sense of what the flipped classroom is and what it's all about and how it can help us in better educating our students. Uh, now we're going to take the time to show just how easy this is and in our remaining time we're going to try to build our own flip lesson. And at any time in the future if you want me to come in and work with you or your CT I'd be happy to do so. But let's get started. Done.